so this is uh, another sneaker bot video so i got a couple of emails from some of you guys actually a lot of emails from you guys uh saying that the code was kind of outdated and you really really needed uh an updated code for this and also uh thank you so much for all you guys who reached out to me for uh you know helping with custom bots and it's really inspiring that something i did just on a whim uh, you know, helped so many of you guys to get into coding, learn Python, and, you know, uh, you went on to develop your own bots. And uh, thank you all of those who also, have, you know, had some uh, personal sessions with me and all those things. Uh, I'm glad I could help you out. And for those who couldn't reach out to me and I didn't respond via email, you can, I'll link my Instagram. I think it'll be more easier for you guys to reach. And uh, yeah, so, you know, I just got some time uh, due to Christmas break from my full-time job and also studies. So I started, uh, you know, full-time uh, at Stanford Computer Science. Uh, so it's really taking up a lot of my time nowadays. But okay, uh, that's about me. Let's get into this video. So, you know, I'm, I tried to update the code and keep it as simple as possible. The It's a very basic code. I, anyone at any level of Python can understand this. So what we are going to do here is that we will basically go on to a particular products page and try to extract the number of sizes on that page. So this is how the page looks like. So what do we have here in the URL? So we basically have this editas.com US. Then we have the name of the shoe and then a model number.html. So what do we want to do here? Let's go through these first uh, lines of code. So we're going to use Selenium. So what does Selenium do? Selenium helps us replicate a browser like functionality from code. So basically it will open up a Chrome browser. How are we going to do that? We do it using this line browser is equal to webdriver.chrome. Now this Chrome can be Firefox and maybe some other browsers, but I have Chrome installed on my computer on my Mac. So it's easier for me to just use Chrome and I'll show you how the Chrome tab will open once I run the code. And then also, I am using beautiful soup for which will help me parse the data I get in a very good fashion. And uh, I'm using Python 3. If you don't know how to install Python 3, I know it can be a little tedious. Uh, I did another video where I explained you how to do it on Mac. And um, yeah, and then to install these specific packages, you need to run these three, these two commands. Uh, fairly simple, you can read about them uh, on, on the web if you want to. But okay, so we do this. So now our code goes through these three lines. It opens a new Chrome tab. Then it comes here. So it sees that this is a function. So, you know, a function is basically that gets executed when it is called. So this function called means something like this. So it comes to line five, it sees, okay, this is a function. So it skips over it. Then it comes to line 13, it sees, okay, we are calling a function. Now, where is this function? Okay, it's on line five. What does it want? It wants a name and a model. What is the name? The name is Samba Oji Shoes. The model is this. So we go to line 13. We go in here on line five. Then what do we do? We have to, so it opens a tab here, a Chrome tab. On the Chrome tab, we need to go to a specific URL. Now, what is the URL? The URL is adas.com US, the name of the product, the model number and .html, which is basically this. And it will open the page like this, okay? Now I need to get extract these sizes from here. Where are these sizes? So these sizes are embedded in this code here, right on the page. This is the code on the page. So, so let's say this size here is available. So it's GL label size. So it's inside this button. We have a span over here. This is where the size is. If the size is not available, it is inside this. And we have another class called size selector size unavailable. Okay. We basically want these ones where we have the size available. So for that, I need to basically get the page. Then what do I need? So this is an HTML page. So I will store it in a variable called HTML. And then I need beautiful soup to parse it. How? So this is an HTML page. So I will use an HTML parser. So I've passed this, this basically this page source. I stored it in a variable. So variable is like an empty container. I can put whatever value I want in it. So I put in the value of this entire page here and then I tell it to soup. I'm like, okay, soup is also an empty container. What does soup have? We'll use beautiful soup to parse this HTML using an HTML parser. Now let's quickly look at what this looks like. Okay, so I am going to, um, let's open this and let's run this once. So, Okay, so the code ran. This is what the soup got. It is the entire page 
what is the entire page this is the entire page this entire thing it's extremely huge okay but out of this page we only need these specific data not just this data just like this data m8.5 9.5 for women so let's so we've got the page where the first step is done getting the data from the page so we can use requests library on python for this but it so you know it, it just goes and it takes the data from the page but you know it might be possible that the page loading is slow right so and we don't have the data available to us right now so in that case we would not be able to fetch the sizes so that is why we use selenium because what it does is it waits for the entire page to load first all right so we have this then we we got the entire data we saw it is extremely huge now what do we need to do in that data to filter it out we've already parsed it by beautiful soup i use this find all function and what do i do i tell it okay go and search for a button okay so it will search for all the buttons on the page and then i tell it go and look for this specific class now this class is gl label size underscore whatever so it comes here it looks for exactly this class so it finds all the buttons and then it brings me exactly those classes and it puts it in a list so let's see what my x is here okay so i'm gonna print x for you guys and let's quickly run uh, let's comment this out. We'll show it to you later. And uh, okay, wait. Let me. I need this. Okay, let me not comment it. And then uh, let me try to run this and see what happens. So this opens. See, it's loading. As soon as it gets loaded, these these take time to load. As soon as it loads, it goes there. And oh wait, so it got an empty list for some reason soup dot find all what is happening here let's see we're printing x let me try to sort of run this again and see why that did not work oh maybe i clicked on the page that's why so it's supposed to be automated i should not Okay, yeah, so it worked. I, I'm sorry, I clicked on the page by mistake. That's why it didn't work earlier. So because it is run by automated software, you have to just let it run, otherwise the page stops. So, okay, so now we have a list and we have all these buttons in it. So this is one button, this is second button, this is third button, and these are all values stored in a list. So this is the first value, and you can see it has a comma, then it has the second value, then it has a comma, then it has a third value. So let's see. So we have to take each one of them at one one at a time and we need to extract the size from this so let's say we have this now okay so what do i do i come in here and then i say okay so pick the first value so let's say this is the first value okay then what do i say i want it as a string so this is the first value this is the first value a's value is this i want the first one and i want to split it on span so we split it on span now so so basically in counting we do one two three but in code the positions of these are zero one two so let's say i want to access the second position it is like second the number two it is on the first position number one is on the zeroth position so in in our case in our specific case this this is zero and then this is one so i i, I need this part so I extract one so this is zero and this is one okay so we, we extract the first part here so we split it on span and then we want the first part okay so we want the first part we got the first part we're good okay but we see that okay i still don't have the size with me you know so what do we need to do we need to split it further so we split it on this part this span this exact thing here so we split it on we split it on this and then what do we have we have zero here this is zero this is one and what do i want i want the zero at part so i extract this out right so that's why we take the zero and then we will go through the second element from the same way then the third one then the fourth one and all of them and in this way i will have all the sizes with me it's as easy as that now you might wonder why are we are we only getting the sizes which are in stock i'll say yes because see in here we only the classes 
which have this exact thing are getting extracted. And if it is out of stock, then these classes have some weird thing here. CGL label, the size unavailable. So that's why it will skip over them. Let's see, I ran this code already. Uh, let's run it again. Actually, I ran it already here, but so it already extracted all of the sizes for me, which are in stock. So 8.5 to 14, it, al it, it already did that. And uh, yeah, so we have 8.5 to 14 and we have all the sizes with me. So, well, this is the first part. Uh, and yeah, we will build upon this. I will probably try to build the entire bot in the next week or so and post all the videos regarding that. And yeah, that's about it. So thank you so much. Um, you know, I, 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 I really love to contribute to open source projects, but you know, I'm so busy right now that I'm not able to take out the time. And, uh, you know, I, I did create a GoFundMe page because some of you wanted to like donate some money and like you guys got, you know, for all the help you got and all those things. I'm really grateful for that. So I, I made a, a GoFundMe page and you can consider donating if I helped you in any way. You know, I don't, you know, it depends on you, maybe three, four, five, 10, 15 bucks, whatever you guys feel appropriate. You know, and I would really, really appreciate it. And I would like to thank you in advance by receiving that money. You know, I can take more time out and, you know, it's basically like, you know, my hourly salary at work. So uh, thank you so much, guys. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm really sorry for not replying to some of you. Uh, I will reply to you for sure this time, uh, at least. I will try to and yeah, let me know what you guys want to learn, what sort of videos you like so that, you know, I can make more videos of those sorts and help you guys out more well that's it for today i'll post i'll come up with part two again thank you so much for watching guys take care and have a great break great christmas and hope you and your families have a lot of fun thank you so much bye